Mr. Taylor. I still don't understand, Kate. Why are we bringing the larders back from Russia? This is for us to restore, to renovate. I told you that. You see, Barry, a Russian, he has a great pride in his car. And he no wants some shit job done in back street of Moscow. A and one week later, all paint fell off. No! The <laughs> <laughs> Tyler. I lost my virginity in Windermere. What? Well, you know, you were saying. That's where you and your family went. Oh, right. It was in a tent. Hello. Oh, Barry. Yeah, it's Neb. Hello, mate. I listened as lovely to say you the other day. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to ask you. How's the lovely Brenda? Oh, she's fine. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Barry, there's something I want to ask you. This idea of Oz's, is it feasible? I mean, maybe you should have a word with this Granger bloke. I mean, after all, you two have got a lot in common. Uh, not exactly. I haven't been to prison for fraud and corruption. <laughs> You're successful, man. You speak the same language as him? I I'm sorry to ask. I, I know you. No, 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 I can find time for that. No, no, mate, it makes a lot of sense, yeah. Okay. Cheers, mate. Okay, yeah, it's all right, mate. Don't leave it with me. I'll sort it out. Turn off for a bit. Bye. You are Osborne? Mm-hmm. Yorgo. Yeah. I take a closer look. It's a big job. You need many peoples. Well, I'm told you all the manners can provide them. It's no problem. I pay them, I find them beds. You pay me whole package. I'll need a figure, obviously. I work out. We discuss. Will your people be like Legal. They will have papers. No problems. I think maybe 50 peoples. Where will they be from? From everywhere. Why you care? Huh? I am from Macedonia. Huh? Well, fine by me. As long as you are not from Sunderland. You have pick up a 37 Bywood Road heat and ASAP. Do you copy? Yeah, yeah, I got that. You look tired, Dennis. How about it? You find it hard, don't you? <laughs> Doing a job like this. I'm not complaining, Mr. Cooper. I don't mean physically. I mean in your mind. I lived here 35 years. I know the tragedy of this area. It's full of men like yourself who have no place in the techno world. Well, like me, it says, people like me are a thing of the past. That's a comforting thought when you switch off the light at night, eh? However, Dennis, I believe there is a line you don't cross. What do you mean by that, Lee? Tommy Rompton. Maybe he thinks doing his filthy business from a minicab makes him less conspicuous. But when police take him down and you are driving him that day, they will take you too. I wouldn't like to see that happen. Which is it? 
drug dealers or cops. Dizzy. Could have done with a pick-me-up. Coffee. Pizza. Why aren't I in a dark room getting hurt? This isn't a pool, Moxie. Although I see from your file you've got a bit of previous. Three convictions for arson. If this is about a fire, I didn't do it. I've been going to Arsonist Anonymous. How long have you been working for Mickey Startup? Less than a year. He's scum. And we want him. He's making more money out of human traffic than arms running or drug dealing. I wonder how you felt about wearing a wire. You're joking, aren't you? Well, you must hear a lot. See a lot. I work in the kitchens. I don't hang out with Mickey Startup. What's he gonna tell me? We got six Natasha's coming in from Belgrade tonight, so keep it under your hat, Mox. It's not just girls. He's running the whole black labour racket for the north of England. Well, if you won't wear a wire, maybe you can get a bug in his office for us. Who do you think I am? Donny Sodden Brasco? Ah, oh, hey. Anchovies. One of his former bookkeepers came to us, told us what's in his safe. She also told us how to get into the safe. Could you do that for us? Well, oh, it's a question of civic duty. I think we'll have to consider it. And what, risk our servings? Well, maybe it's time you had a bit of risk in your life, Neville. Oh, no, I've always worked to reduce the risk in our lives, Brenda man. For you and the girls. Well, it hasn't made you happy. You get depressed, negative. Well, I don't think it's just sexual. Where did that come from? I've seen the way you look at Lorraine and our daughter's friends. And there's not been a lot of activity in the bedroom. Oh, sweetheart, man, that's just because I... Uh, I just feel like I'm wading through treacle. We'll have to take a chance if we're ever going to get ahead of the game. That's the way it works, Nev. Jane's just confident the board will pass the scheme. Final votes next week. Oh, and it's a seven-way split again. Wayne's young and rang up, and he wants in. Where's he got the money? Where is it? Top disc jockey. They'll make a fortune, apparently. He'd be well qualified for knocking down a bridge, then. Hey, listen. He's not my favourite Martian. And it's no secret I didn't like his father, neither, but if the kid's got a wonga, he's in. Barry's a key, like, isn't he? Is he? Maybe he'll get a bit more pregnant once he's met Granger. Do I take it you're in, Neville? Yeah. I'm gonna have to bite a bullet on the VAT. But if this works out, I'll get everybody off me back. Bomber's come up with half of his so far. But he's got all them bands, hasn't he? So maybe he'll chip in for him. I wouldn't get me hopes too high on Moxie. Ah, well, funnily enough, he rang last night and said he knows where he can get his hands on some money. You're all mad. It's a massive bastard job. Nobody knows shit about demolition. Yeah, but like Oz says, then, we're the gaffers on this. That's right. I've already spoken to a gang master. The what? The gang, he's a bloke what rounds up your foreign labour for you. Because it'll be a bunch of Albanians or Yugoslavs what actually brings the bridge down. We are the money on this one, then. We are the money! I haven't got any bloody money! How many mailbags did you have to sew to get your steak? Uh, I got that through honest graft actually, sweating me brow. When I got it to jail I went back on the tools and I've worked six days a week ever since. And you've saved £10,000? No, I fell up a scaffold and scored for eight grand compen. What happened to that 25 grand payout you got from Ali Fraser? That was 15 years ago man, two divorces and a new pair of shoes took care of that. Well maybe Barry would see you right? I'm not owing anybody. Dan, we need you. You were always top man, the anchor. Well, well, you kept us in line. Aye, oh, Dan. Huh? Every Tuesday and Friday, I drive a drug dealer round the housing estates and the shopping centres. Why would I do that, huh? Because it's my biggest pay day of the week. The rest of the time, I work the graveyard shift, you know? bigger tips at night, even though you've got to clean up after blowjobs and drunks. If I had £10,000, do you think that would be me life? See ya. <laughs> 